In this video, we'll be talking about the Valcom ACS programmer and the panel's ability to use your own custom voice files. And um, so to start off with, you're going to have to be connected to the panel, not only with the network cable, but also a USB cable. So if you have a computer that's in an office and this thing's uh, across the other side of the building, you're going to have to bring a laptop or uh, some sort of direct connection to it for the USB. But assuming you are connected to it via USB and network cable, there are several steps we have to go through. The first step is if you want to record your own voices, or your own sound effects, there's a program you'll have to download. And that program is going to be the Valcom VC Message Utility. And it's a little icon like a microphone. Go ahead and open that utility now. And it pops up like this. And if you're starting fresh, you'll want to load VC image file. And it has two of them by default, female voice or male voice. So just go ahead and select the one of your choosing. We'll hit the male voice. And it should all be loaded up. Now, messages 1 through 64 or 1 through 63 is um, reserved. You cannot edit, delete, or add to these, even though some of these may appear to be blank. Like 41, there's nothing in it, but you cannot use it for yourself. If you want, you can hear the ones already in there by clicking on preview. Your call cannot be completed at this time. Please try. So it shows you the number of the message and a description of what that message is and shows you the time. Now, if you're looking to add your own, you'll have to go down starting with number 64. They're all going to be blank until you add something to it. So you can click on 64 and we can import wave. And it has to be a WAV file. So in this case, I'm going to say first grade. And hit open. And I see it took the name first, first grade from the WAV file itself. So you do not get to rename it. You have to name your WAV files appropriately. But it has a title of the WAV and it has seconds. Now, once you put it in there, you can hit preview. Now, if you're happy with that, great. You can continue on. You can populate this whole thing with all the WAVs you want. Waves can include music, by the way. So if you want to have a little musical tone, you know, some happy little jig, or um, have the Star Spangled Banner play, you can store it in here. But once you get done populating all the waves you want, then you'll go to this option over here, which is Save VC Image File. You'll click that, and you'll have to give it a name. And then you'll hit Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and load up one I have here called St. John's. And you can see St. John's has been populated with several. Now, at this point, you have the image file, but you have not yet sent it to the panel. Sending it to the panel, the first process requires that USB cable. So you have USB connected from your computer to the panel itself, and you're going to go to read slash write VC unit. Once you click on here, go ahead and click on Disable Timeouts, and then Write Unit. Now, I am not currently connected to a panel, so I can't show you what it would look like. But you will start to see a little progress bar with writing. If you do not click Disable Timeouts, there is a high likelihood it will keep stopping. Over here will be a whole list of sector sectors. Just go ahead and have it do it all at once, Disable Timeouts. Once it's all done, you'll just hit Close. And you are done with this application. You can close out this application. And from this point, you'll move on to the Valcom ACS programmer. Once you go to File, and you hit the option to Load Voice Chip File. And you will find that file that you saved earlier. In this case, St. John's. Hit Open. It says it was successfully loaded. So now when you do your transfer to the panel, it will load that chip up with the um, with the program side of it. Now, how do we use those voice files? If we go over to um, ch -ch -ch configuration and we got a system. So in this section here, we have all of our stations for the cards. In this case, I only have one card, but station 101. And continue on 101, 102. Yeah, this is where you would select which voice file. So if I had 
let's just go back to the very first one. And I said this one was music. I can select voice file. And if you scroll down, I have one called music room. That's all it's going to take. And then go to the next one, continue. Uh, this one will be art. And the voice phrase will be art room. Scroll down and find it. And there it is. Additionally, if you go to programming, program admin stations, you can even give a voice chip for the admin station. This one's going to be an office. Is where the admin is at. So let's see if I have office on here. I have principal and office. There we go. And admin two will be in the principal's office. So we'll give this one principal. Now what's also important you have to do here is you have to check the voice announce for both of these. And that's all it's going to basically take. Once you transfer it over, what's going to happen is if room 102 calls the office, when they pick up, they're going to hear art room or whatever the wave file says, and then it will pick up. Or if the office calls room 102, they'll get office. Or if the principal calls, they'll hear principal, and then it will connect the call. Why you may not want to do this, uh, first off, it is a little bit extra work connecting to the panel, and you have to import all your own waves. But the second thing, if you're looking for a quicker system, this does add some delay before you're connected. But that's all it's going to take. And so then you just transfer and send files to your panel, and you should be up and running. Thank you.